Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Hey, I'm going over the end of the year book hauls. The last two weeks, um, right here before Christmas, I was able to hit um, three thrift stores and an estate sale. The estate sale was from the First Lady of Costa Rica, Henrietta Boggs. I'll put a link in the description where you can check her out. An amazing story. I uh, highly recommend you do that. Um, if, not, if nothing else, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, hey, I've got about a little less than a hundred bucks, about you know, 94, 95 dollars in this, and the resale potential that I see is between 800 and a thousand. It's a wide variety of books, so I'm interested in, uh, in 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 your comments and reactions on you know just just the the eclectic nature of what I've found in the last two weeks. So hey, with that, let's jump straight in. Show you 50 books. We're going to go through 50 of them plus two special items. So the first store found Manchester Fire Brigade. Hey, this is a this is a solid twenty dollar book. Uh, sometimes it ranges fifteen to thirty. Uh, goes over this firehouse Manchester UK publication. Great find. Then we had Jaguar Saloons. This guy Harvey does a lot of um, books on car imports. Uh, you know, British imports, things of that nature. This edition is a, is a, is a good edition. It's it's a solid thirty bucks. All right, ship modeling, fifty cent book. It's eight to ten dollars online, so it's a great, great find. I love having this kind of stuff in my store. Just find it interesting. Then there was uh, this one. I don't know much about. It's a like a family genealogy, self-published. The Seven Brothers of Dark Hollow. Um, there is the photo of this is listed on Amazon, but nothing sold. Um, it's it's just one of those interesting things. I'll, I'll do a little research and and and, and list it. So the uh, more more to come on this one. All right, here was the biggie. The Saints of Old Florida. It's kind of a panhandle of Florida travel um, information book. You know, it has lots of you know recipes, town descriptions of five or six towns that start with the name Saint. Um, kind of interesting, interesting premise for a book. And this one has was has sold. It was a had a hundred fifty dollar list price and it was best offer. So I'm not sure what it sold for. But there's another one on eBay that's listed for 500 bucks, so not not my copy. Amazon, this is a 50 to $80 book. Um, that's probably a, more, a fair price for it, but a great find for $2.50, so The Saints of Old Florida. All right, found some tablature, the complete Led Zeppelin. You know, for me, Led Zeppelin II is my favorite album. It's really because of I love the song Ramble On. Um, you know, hey, at the, our house we say Led Zeppelin one and three do not equal Led Zeppelin four, but if you need to play Led Zeppelin, your tablature comes in handy. I'll, somebody's got post-it notes, I'll take those off, but this will be a $10, $10 sale. Got this one for a buck, so that's a great find, and, and, I, and I like it because I like Led Zeppelin. All right, a magazine, Bella Grace. I wish I had a truckload of these things. Uh, these are 20 bucks on the newsstand. This exact copy is sold for 15 and 20 on eBay. You know, it's got good living advice, recipes, um, you know, poetry, lots, lots of, lots of, you know, article stuff like that. Uh, this will sell easily for 15, maybe even bring the full 20. Uh, I paid a dollar for it. Again, if I see a bunch more Bella Graces, I'll be buying them. All right. Last thing at this, this thrift store was Legacies. All right. This is, I hadn't found this on eBay, but it's about this parish in, uh, in Louisiana and it's full of you know, illustrations, drawings, beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, Amazon, 70 bucks. Again, I'll pay 250 for this one. Oh, uh, book-wise, that was it on this one, but this is where I found the, the two special items. I also found this model. Paid $4 for this. It'll bring 25 bucks or so. Old Curtis Robin flying model kit. Look at that, completely intact, unused, all there, directions, balsa wood. Uh, hey, books are my wheelhouse, but if I if I see cool, I have to buy cool, and that fit the bill. So, in the same line, this one was just awesome. Look at this, the GMC Astro 95. Look at that big boy, big semi truck model. Uh, the box corner on this one was split, but still, this brings 75 bucks to 95 bucks online. Uh, if you look inside it, all the pieces were not only there, but look, they're still bagged. Look, there's, there's the cab. Somebody will make it looking cool. Uh, I never had the pa patience for these growing up as a kid. Still don't now. Uh, whenever I did them, they always looked awful. So if some people could do them, make them look like a museum kit. Not me, but hey, this was cool. 
Uh, I, I dug it four or five bucks, sell it for 75. Somebody will enjoy that. Um, so yeah, follows my mantra. Like I said, if you see cool, you have to buy cool. All right, so then coming back up, um, this, this was the sale as I was coming up Alabama. Uh, I stopped in Montgomery for lunch, had lunch at a place called Fat Man's, a barbecue place, the name of the restaurant, not just for me. You know, I, I love barbecue, I love beer, and I love books. So I was sitting there eating some ribs, and I noticed that there was a sale, an estate sale, just about a mile away south of the capital, nice area of Montgomery. And I stopped, and it was from the, the First Lady of Costa Rica, Miss Henrietta Boggs. And again, Google her. She, she grew up in, went to Costa Rica in the 40s, fell in love, got married, got involved with the Costa Rican Revolution. She, um, she was instrumental in getting uh, women and people of color voting rights in the Costa Rican Revolution, this lady from Alabama. Just an amazing life. Um, she passed away in September of this, of this year at 102. And it was the last day of her sale. It was such a privilege to get to see her home and um, you know, to, 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 to buy some of her books. Uh, a couple here that I bought, there was the Brave African Huntress. This will be, uh, it was $1.50. It'll be 15 to 20 bucks online. Then there was uh, Hugo Black, the Alabama Years, again, a paperback. It'll be 15 to 20 bucks, again, a buck 50 at the sale. This was a great find uh, here, was the Encyclopedia of Witchcraft, kind of a bizarre find to find on the shelf with a lot of other literature, but um, this one is easy 35, maybe even 50. Pristine copy can bring 100 bucks on this, but this will be at least 35, maybe 50, so. Then we had Roger Fry, last lectures. I don't know who Roger Fry is, but maybe I should. But this is a um, Cambridge University Press book, 1939. This will bring 30 bucks, uh, nice find. Then there was Alabama's Covered Bridges. Great little, uh, this one was interesting. It didn't have, it had illustrations, right? So it's $18 book. I got it for a, a buck 50. Um, you know, good, good find. Interesting subject matter. Then considering that this came from Miss Boggs's place, this is an early edition of Our Bodies Ourselves. Uh, Miss Boggs was, was active in politics, civil rights, and women's rights her entire life. And so this, this, is a, this, is a, this edition is a solid $20, $20 edition. And finally, the last things I found at that sale, two Folio Society books. If you're not familiar with the Folio Society, these are, these are you know, fiction books that they print them, they put them in slip cases. Medieval Women and the Silk Road, um, both will run 20 bucks online. I paid $4 for these. They're just beautiful copies, you know, slip covers. They have um, full color, full color il illustrations, photos in them. Um, I have luck selling Folio Societies just because they're such exquisite copies. People, people collect them. They really, they really enjoy them. So whenever I find them at a good price, that's, you know, they're good finds. All right, so that's the results from, that's the results from one thrift store and one estate sale. So two more to go. So the um, second thrift store, this was a $5 book, but it's, look at this. This was 1898, The Sinking of the Merrimack. It's got a little uh, cover weakness here, but I'll list it that way. This is sold, this exact copy is sold for 30 bucks. I paid $5 for it just because I, I thought it was cool. And you know, hey, there's still profit there. Then there's um, At Home with the Basinjis. Paid 50 cents for this. It's just a little pamphlet. Uh, originally published by a couple of ladies, but then it's been republished by Kennel Club. Uh, oh, here's a Basinji. It's a, I think I'm saying that right. It's a dog. Um, there's a copy of this, the 1988 version is, is, is listed on Amazon for 60 bucks. I haven't found this copy, but hey, I paid 50 cents for it. I think that it'll, it, it'll sell. Somebody will think that's cool. Um, same lines, 50 cents for a home-built airplanes. Kind of a cool book. Uh, that'll be eight to 10 bucks. All right, here's one, a quiz. A manna today. What do you think it is? What do you think it's about? It's not refrigerators. That's what I thought. I thought it was the company, you know, a manna stoves, refrigerators. No, this is a town in Iowa. So, uh, hey, sometimes you get fooled. Uh, this, this was a dollar. One's listed on eBay for 69 on, on Amazon, you see this listed for three to 20. It's, it's probably a 10 to $15 book, but uh, a town in Iowa, a manna, not refrigerators or stoves.
All right, a literary classic, one of those Alabama literary classics, this Ollie Miss. It's not an expensive book. It'll be seven or eight bucks, but I got it for 50 cents, so it was worth worth getting. I like putting this in my store. Um, similar, another paperback. It's a $12 book. I got this one for $2, The Alabama Gang, Early Racing. Clyde Bolton, he's written a lot of books about the Alabama local area, published out of Strode Press a lot of times, uh, Birmingham Press. Um, you know, Strode Press is Huntsville, but... He, he had a history of doing a lot of books like this. So it's a good $12 book, good subject matter. Then um, paid a dollar for this one, Ultra. If you're getting ready to run an Ultra, run a big race, here's a book to help you do it. It's a $13 to $15 book, paid a buck for it. Then a 1982, while we're on the running subject, running with your head, and I'm not holding this upside down. This is really, it says, hey, if you've been sitting on the couch, you can't just go out and run five or ten miles. You you got to start slow, use your head. So running with your head, fifteen dollar book. All right. You know I'm a Fortran guy, but here's numerical recipes in Fortran. Paid a buck. It's a it's it's a ten dollar book. Now if you find the Fortran ninety version, not just the straight Fortran or Fortran seventy seven, the Fortran ninety is worth like fifty. And that's where they start putting in, you know, how to parallelize, write parallel code in Fortran back in the day. So look out for the Fortran 90, then you got a good $50 score. This is 10 bucks, still good for, for a dollar find. Then uh, the last one at this sale, really good for a dollar, okay? Got this one for a buck, this, this Heritage of Cherokee County, Alabama. Uh, it says volume 10, I think that's for the whole series for all the, the, the counties. I haven't seen this exact county sold, but uh, other counties for Alabama and Georgia of this similar type book are, are going for 70 to 150 so this could be $7,500 edition got it for a dollar this big big win on this one great all right that's the second thrift store so three out of the four things I'm gonna show you now the uh, last place I don't normally stop by I don't I just haven't had good luck I, I was just happened to be right next door so I ran in and found quite a few the first things I found were a set of 12 detective book clubs. These books are, are kind of like Reader's Digest um, for mystery stories. You see that there's two that are a little bit different, a little bit later editions. These were published in like the 40s, uh, sometimes the 50s. And people will take these and, and they'll, they re some people read the stories, but other people use these as decorative books. So um, again, I got 12 of them. I'll list them as a lot. When you list them as a lot, they'll bring at least $3 each, so 12. I'll probably ask 35 bucks for these. I got them at 50 cents a piece, so I've got $6 in them. I just I just like them. I have sold these on, on Etsy as a decorative as a decorative set, so that's, that's one way you can go. But Detective Book Clubs, kind of cool. All right, so then other things I found at that, that store, all these last ones were a dollar each. Here's Tesla, Man Out of Time, early edition, and hey, it matches my Tesla shirt, as a matter of fact. My Tesla uh, God of Thunder. There you go. I may have to keep that one. But uh, that's a that's at least a 10. Early edition, maybe $15. Got it for, for a buck. Here's a History Channel publishing some books. So History Channel, I think there's a TV show that's uh, Texas Rising. It's all Texas Ranger story. Solid 10 bucks. Another lot type thing I'll do um, from the Left Behind series, you know, Back in the day, you could you could find the left behinds and do the all twelve books hardback, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety bucks. Then they they, they published like four billion of them. So the market there, it's not worth it to me for the for the quantity, the weight, and all that kind of stuff. So, but the prequels here, the this is the last Kingdom Come is the last edition, and then the prequels, they'll they'll sell together um, for twenty five bucks. So I I saw them. I was there buying the other stuff, so I just got them. Um, all right. Here's a good $20 Running with Bonnie and Clyde. Good edition. I like this one. Paid a dollar for it. Um, we've got a baseball story, Pafco at the Wall. This is a uh, solid 10 bucks. Uh, you can find this one autographed um, often, and it'll, it'll bring 60, 70 bucks autographed, so that's kind of cool. All right, Guerrilla Warfare, Black Flag. This is a Civil War book. Uh, paid a buck. It's a $10, $10 resale, so... They were, this, these all had to be from the same person, right? They, it's just like when you, sometimes when you go in a thrift store and it's all the same stuff, 
somebody just turned in everything, right? That's what these were. They were all right there together. I looked at them, boom, boom, boom. Great finds. Here's a Vietnam Riverine Mekong Delta. Uh, someone's experience there. That'll be a that'll be a ten dollar sale. Then uh, here's the a Bolivian. This one you see fifteen to thirty. I'm not familiar with this West Point cadet story, Richard Cox, but I'm just guessing this is not a happy happy book. Um, but it's fifteen to thirty bucks resale. So anyway, I got it for a dollar. Um, and then the last one of the fifty, it's an early West. Uh, actually, it is early West. It's the publisher. Uh, this Bowen and Harden, uh, this is 30 bucks. Um, got it, got it for a dollar. So that's it. We just slammed through uh, three thrift stores, an estate sale, and 50 books, plus two models in about 15 minutes. So I hope you guys uh, found it interesting. Again, welcome your comments on, on the eclectic nature, what you think about some of these finds. Hope you found it informative for the types of things that I find nonfiction that resale. And um, hey, around the, around this time of year, you never know what's gonna you know what you're gonna find. We, we got COVID, things are shut down. Uh, Christmas season, things are closed, short hours, things are picked over. But in this case, uh, I, I wasn't going out expecting this, and it just lots of stuff there. So anyway, uh, so long to 2020. We're looking forward to a bright 2021. Um, have fun, be safe, and we'll see you later.